Hey guys, I'm Rogue and this is my rant. Yes, I brought out the notes again this time. We believe in the diversity of thought here on this channel. <laughs> so today I'm going to be talking about voting with your wallet. And uh, yes, this will be a slightly more political video, but not like political political, just a little bit. Uh, yeah, so what we're going to be talking about today is voting with your wallet. And uh, uh, a call back to one of my previous videos about uh, the video game industry and how consumers are starting to vote with their wallets, which is great. And I think that's great, by the way. But uh, yeah, so today's video is about voting with your wallet. And uh, it's it go. This is going to be going into you know movies, video games, um, you know like the wokeness in them, ripoffs like their agenda, like TV shows and stuff like that. So if you're like me you're a little bit more traditional you're a little bit more old-fashioned you have a, you have an appreciation for old things or things that bring you back to you know a quote-unquote better time you know this be called nostalgia but I think a lot of people can share my opinion that you know we're not really growing up some some of these gen alpha kids or gen Zers they're not really growing up or growing into adulthood in the best of times and that's a topic for another video but I have, I have my cassette player on, I have my vinyl records and my CDs and my cassettes, and they just remind me of a better time. Basically, when I still go to one of my local malls, like it's very lively, but then the other one is like almost dead, like basically dead. So what I'm trying to say is that liking those old fashioned things, you know, you look at commercials, you look at sitcoms or, and you look at some movies, and a lot of movies from the 80s, they'll have strong male characters. And then they'll all, and then today, the, the modern movies and the movies of the past, they have strong female characters as well. And that's not, there's nothing wrong with that. When, when characters have to overcome adversity and get better at things, not always being the best at everything, you know, like, like Mary Sue, like Ray from the new Star Wars, always good at everything. Um, you know, and then there's a ton of other examples. I'm not going to give all the examples, but in the modern culture, there's like this wokeness where it's like, you know, the the male is the worst one, always the bad one, the dumb one, the one who is, you know, weak and always making mistakes and never improving. And it's always the girl boss that's like, you know, good at everything or overcoming little adversity. And then you look at commercials, you look at commercials and it's always like, um, it's always interracial and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just it's just a comment and um and it's always like the the bumbling moron father it, it, or in sitcoms or uh, it's always it's always, like men are always depicted as the idiots and the thing is that's just the wokeness and a narrative that they've been pushing for so long now but the thing is you know newsflash you know men are good at certain things and not good at others and women are good at certain things and not good at others it's called biology it's called like nature evolution whatever you want to call it and i'm not going to get into all of like the positives and negatives or like the things that you know men and women are good at and stuff like that because i don't want to get canceled so <laughs> you know but and then um and, the, and then it's just it's but people have started to vote with their wallet. They don't like the wokeness, like, like like the Marvels or whatever. I never saw the movie. I don't know if it's really that bad of a movie, but maybe it was because it, it performed terribly. Or Mad Max, the, like the, the Furiosa saga, whatever. That, that, that movie didn't need to do good either. Um, but, you know, I, it's... I just believe that there's a lot of people out there that want to return to a more traditional, old-fashioned, more simple-ish lifestyle, but they're too afraid to speak out against the narrative because they'll be canceled. Okay? That's just that's that's just how I see it. That's how I see it. That's how it is. And, you know, it's not really going to change because that's just, you know, it, that's just what it is. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty much the video. Um, if you don't like that type of stuff, or if you do like that type of stuff, whatever, uh, whatever floats your boat. But uh, yeah, vote with your wallet. If you don't like this type of narrative, or if you don't like these shows on streaming, or these movies, or these video games, or whatever, what, whatever you want to do, or like satanic pop music or something like that, like don't buy it. Don't listen to it. Don't watch it. 
it's, and then it'll improve your mental health anyway because you can go out into the real world and see most of the real world isn't like this woke bullshit. It's not. They like they like to make you think it is, but it's not. The amount the amount of um, these types of relationships they're just there's they're not that common, but they 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 make you think it is. So that's all I have to say. Have a great rest of the day. I'll see you next time.